Hello, today we'll be learning about Big Blue Button, which is a platform for conducting your live class. Big Blue Button can now be integrated into our latest release of the UMS Learning Management System. To begin with Blue Button, you have to sign in using your Google account. So you can use your UMS Google account to sign into Big Blue Button. So I'm going to sign in with Google. So if you're logged on to your Google account on the same browser, it will automatically allow you to log in. The next step is to set up your class. So as you can see, I have classes which have been set up earlier. So in order to start, I have to create a new room or I can click on the start button. For this session, we'll click on the start button. So we click on the start button and the system will prompt you to upload your lecture notes. So when you are an instructor, you join with the microphone. However, if you permit your students to join with the microphone, you may require to moderate the discussion. Students may join with this listen only option. However, as an instructor, you can grant control to the students by clicking on their respective microphone icon. So for now, as an instructor, I'm going to click on the microphone icon. The system will now conduct an echo test. And if you and hear your voice, your voice in the speaker in the or headphone set, set, please click, please yes. click yes. So you I can hear my voice and I click yes. Now the screen is divided into three columns. The first column gives you a list of all the students who are present in your class or who have logged on into this session. The second column allows you to conduct a chat. So I'm going to say hello on my keyboard I type in and you can see that it has appeared here. Students can use this section to communicate with the instructor. The third section which you have over here is your lecture notes. So you click on the plus sign here, actions, and then it, you can upload a presentation. So in it, you have, an, uh, you have a presentation to upload. You can upload the presentation as PowerPoint or as PDF files. However, I suggest to you, please use the PDF file option as using the PowerPoint option may result in the loss of some formatting. So I'm going to upload a lecture note here from my file and then I just click upload. Now the system will upload your lecture notes as PDF and convert them to a graphic format which is compatible with the system. So this process takes time depending on the number of slides you have. So if you are preparing your class, please ensure that you have uploaded this lecture notes early on. Here the system will process the slides and once the slides have been generated, it will revert back to the original screen. So there you have it. The classroom is ready and the slides are here. The next thing which we need to do is to share this class. So to share this classroom, the link appears here. I'm going to highlight this link. You may copy and paste this link and share it to the student using the smart UMS LMS platform or you may send it to them via uh, WhatsApp or other communication system such as email. Now when you begin your class, you are given the option of recording. So you can see this icon here. So currently I am recording this tutorial using a screencast o -matic. So this will not permit me to do double recording. But if you do have a class and you are recording from Big blue button, you can click here on start recording and the recording will commence for your students. Okay, now I begin my class and all I need to do is click and move to the slides. So the slides will be processed and they'll be displayed. Now you're also given the option to annotate your slides. So you have various tools here such as the text box, you have you can draw lines, you can you can also 
scribble using a pencil or annotate this way. You can also do various kinds of geometric designs on the slide itself based on your specific requirement. Students can be given permission to do this as well, provided that they are logged on and visible here. You can grant them access to control over the session. Now we move on to the next section, which is basically concluding your class. So take note that big blue button is only available to students as a live class. You can record the class and share the recording as well. However, upon completion of your class session, for example, you commence your class at 9 and you finish at 10.30, you have to end your class by clicking on the option, which is end meeting. Please ensure that you end your meeting in order to conclude your class. So I'm going to click here, which is end meeting. And it asks me if I want to end the session and I say yes, and the mm -hmm. session has ended. So that's the way in which you use big blue button. In our next lecture, we will be teaching you how to integrate this big blue button into our new smart UMS learning management system. Thank you for watching.